You stay here at the present moment, right here, right now. It's shelter for the mind. If you wander away from here, it's like a child wandering out of the house. Who knows what's going to happen? You might get run over, you might get kidnapped. So you decide to stay right here. Now to keep the mind right here, of course, you've got to give it something to play with, just like a child in the house. If there's nothing in the house to play with, the kid's going to crawl out of the house one way or another. So you play with the breath. And you can play with the elements in the body, too. There's the warmth, which is the fire element, and then there's the coolness, which is the water element. And there's the heaviness, which is the earth element, and then, of course, there's the energy of the breath energy. You might ask yourself, are things in balance right now? Are there some parts of the body that are warmer than others? If you're sitting outside and you're feeling a little cool, focus on the parts that are warmest. And then see if you can allow that warmth to spread to the different parts of the body in the same way that you allow the breath energy to spread. Or if you're feeling too lightheaded, okay, where are the heavy parts of the body? Focus there. See if you can take on that sense of heaviness. And as for anything else that comes up, the Buddha says, well, make your mind like these elements. In other words, you don't get excited, you don't get upset, you don't get carried away by things. In the same way that if you throw disgusting things on the earth, the earth doesn't react. If you throw nice things on the earth, the earth doesn't get pleased. You hang around with the elements like this, and it's a good way to get the mind to taking a, take on the qualities of the elements, particularly this quality of patience and endurance. That's not so you can just sit and be with whatever is going to come up. Sometimes whatever comes up, you've got to do something about it. But to see clearly what needs to be done, the mind has to have some stability, it has to have some sense of endurance, and not just recoil from every little thing that it doesn't like. So there's lots to play around with in here, both in the physical elements and in the qualities of the mind you're working with. And as long as there's plenty to play with, the, the, the child of your mind is not going to go running outside where it runs into danger. So try to get a sense of what you can play with right here, right now. All too often what we play with is just thoughts of the past, thoughts of the future. But here's something right here in the present moment. You can play with the way your body feels. And you can bring it into balance. If you're not feeling well, okay, what elements in the body need to be emphasized to, to help heal those problems? That's something you're going to explore as well. So there's plenty to explore, plenty to play with right here, right now. There's no reason to go running outside, exposing yourself to the dangers of the past, the dangers of the future. Stay sheltered right here in the present moment. You find there's, there's a lot to learn, and then there are a lot of benefits that can come from it. It's not just hiding out. You begin to realize what's really important in life is what's right here, right now. And at playing around right here, right now, you gain a sense of how to adjust your sense of the body, how to adjust the qualities of the mind, and those are really important skills.